Hello, this is David Dustin. I wanted to show you a project that we have worked on recently. This was for a shooting case. Um, here we have the point cloud has been imported to 3D Studio Max with the Cloud to Max plugin. This was approximately 16 scans. It's only about 21 million points. We certainly could have loaded more, but this was sufficient for what we needed to do with it. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, how we or how the Max environment looks and how we construct uh, the environment from the scan. So if we look here, you can see how we have built our the apartment building faces, etc., from the laser scan. We could have also just used the scan environment and animated in it, but uh, then we couldn't have created our real-time environment. We used tree panels to uh, represent the trees in the scene. And if we turn off the scan, you can see uh, we created a very low polygon, a very low polygon environment by our standards. And uh, it's only 31,000, 32,000 polygons, which is quite small. And we used uh, texture mapping, and that worked quite effectively. And then we place characters, specific cameras, et cetera, for uh, exportation to the real-time environment. And the real-time environment is actually, uh, as you can see, it is the same environment. It's something that you can walk through if you want to, which is why we call it a real-time environment. We can uh, insert characters, and we can also insert, for instance, uh, evidence markers, and all of these items can be turned on and off uh, with a keystroke, as well as the different characters in the different positions. And so as we turn things back on, uh, the silver in this case uh, is just showing the distances. This was based on the uh, police information as to where these uh, evidence items were. And then basically from the datum or uh, measurement points that they used in the scene. So we have these evidence markers in the roadway. And so they're all correlated off the corners of these buildings. And as far as accuracy, um, obviously for scenes like this, it isn't hypercritical. We aren't talking quarter-inch accuracy, but uh, if I recall correctly, the measurements that we took, uh, and our hand measurements and then also the police measurements, we're within an inch of each other. So I would say that uh, most of the objects in this scene are accurate to within an inch. We can also switch between the different canned camera views that we have. So, for example, we can jump. We can jump and read and view this uh, this perspective. And this is useful if you want to limit the view of the viewer, which in most times, in most cases, we don't do. Most times we allow the viewer to walk around the scene and uh, they can view the measurements and draw their own conclusions. Thank you.